Disney's Mirrorverse. Is it okay for kids? First, what is it? Well, the idea started online many years ago when artists drew the Disney princesses as warriors. The best version actually being as if the princesses were in the video game Street Fighter. Fast forward to 2022 and we have Disney Mirrorverse, which took the idea of armed princesses and expanded it to the entire roster of Disney characters. As soon as I saw Oogie Boogie wielding a giant pair of dice with spikes on a chain and using a roulette wheel as a shield, I knew I had to play this game. But as with many children's cartoons where violence is justified by making the enemies robots or zombies or slime monsters or some other inhuman thing, the enemy and Mirrorverse are called Fracture and are made of purple glass that breaks apart when they are defeated. There is something slightly disturbing yet oddly satisfying when Gaston takes his giant crossbow and shoots Minnie Mouse in the back of the head and she shatters into a million pieces. But anyway, if you are alright with the level of violence that Disney normally has in their films, it will be okay for your kids. You've already seen Rapunzel bonk people on the head with her frying pan. Now you can play as Rapunzel, whose special ability is tying her hair to her frying pan and whipping it around doing massive damage to the baddies. And there's an autoplay feature where the AI will do the fighting for your kids if they are too small to really play video games. If you're a Disney fan, it's really quite fun. And since so much of Disney's films and their Disney Plus shows have been bad to mediocre, it's the best story they've put out in probably 10 years. The game is free to play, but the downside is that the whole game is set up for microtransactions. It is designed to get you hooked on the game, then if you want to advance past a certain point, you're either going to have to pay a lot of money or slowly grind away for months just to get a single gem that you need to advance. Their business model is set up to get either people willing to pay that large amount of money to buy exclusive characters or continually cycle through new players who might spend a few dollars each before they get stuck or bored. But that's all there is to say about that. Later, mothers and fathers!